You will be pleased to know I have disabled the sound for my computer notifications. So no more Mozilla informing me that it's my turn. Also, this is going to use superpower or something dumb and destroy my... Okay, great. Wow, that did a lot. Anyway, I know I am often used as a sleep aid for many of my viewers slash listeners, which, you know, very pleased with. It's an honor. Uh, it's very intimate if you want to go down that way. Uh, anyway, I say that because I think this video is going to be a very good sleep aid because I, um, with my extreme tiredness, then I am not going to have a ton of energy. And I think I'm going to sleepwalk through this one. Oh, wow. That's Stone Edge. That's crazy. Yeah, so the reason I am so exhausted is... Uh, that better not be cussed at Barry. I'll be really upset. I doubt it. Uh, I won't double up on games. I know that bothers some people. So we'll just take it nice and slow. Anyway. Uh, I was... I've had a tired week in general, actually. Because this past Sunday, I was working on a movie. Not my own. And... Oh, boy. I, if I was working on my own movie, I would not be making these videos right now. I'll tell you that. If I just disappear for... Well, actually, I, you would know because I would make a video saying, Hey, here's a video while I work on my movie. Um, or to let you know to be excited for it and stuff like that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I was working on someone else's movie. And it was... Uh, we were shooting inside this very stuffy room with no air conditioner. And this is gonna do like mean look Paris song or something stupid. I, actually, no, Dust Clops doesn't even learn Paris song, as far as I know, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if it mean looks, I'll just like. I'll record it. Cool. Anyway. Oh, it does it. I was just thinking, does it have rest? Yeah, but it's not mean looking. So it's not slowing me out, so who cares? It's gonna be like sleep talk or something. Well, I'll get rid of its highlight. Anyway, yeah, we were shooting in this uh, AC in this room without air conditioning. For some reason. <laughs> and uh, even though we started at like 8:30 in the morning, it was everyone was really sluggish and lethargic and slow and you know, low on energy and it started to get really surreal you know sometimes if um i, I saw this like i've had this happen a couple times in my day and then i saw a couple movies within the last year where i was like oh my god that's that that's that feeling where it's like a really you know warm day and everyone's kind of it's not just one person who didn't get enough sleep or whatever. It's just that everyone is overcome by this collective wave of becoming drowsy. Uh, and, you know, I, I, it was really weird because, you know, you still have to work while you're doing this. <laughs> so, oh no, I didn't get superpower, but I did get hammered. Only in this game, though. I don't drink. Anyway. Uh, so... Yeah, it was really weird, because then the lunch break came around at, like, 1, 1 15 or something. And, um, and everyone just, like, went out in the hallway, and, but it was still really sleepy. And then everyone just, like, started falling asleep. You know, I was trying to fight off the urge to fall asleep, but then, uh, I noticed, hey, everyone else is kind of lying around completely still, it's, and lo and behold, that's exactly what uh, happened. People started sleeping. Oh, wow. That was destructive. But I didn't want to um, risk Lop Honey faking out, and I know there's, like, no way I that it would get through, but I decided to keep the rain just in case to guarantee the, the Swampert win. Fundamentals. Yeah, I know, even though there's Prankster Thunder Wave, but, you know, that's the 
capacity my brain is operating at. Yeah, so uh, a little less surreal, although still with its tinges, was, well, not just yesterday, but the day before, because I had an overnight shift from 4.30 p.m. Wednesday to 8 a.m. yesterday, Thursday. I mean, if you're watching this video that's uh, at a time that's not, you know, Friday, July 28th, 2023, then, you know, Wednesday and Thursday is not going to have that much meaning to you, but, you know. Yesterday and the day before. So, uh, yeah, that was also a battle to stay awake, especially because it's not like I came home at uh, after yesterday, or on Thursday, and went to sleep. No, I, I had some stuff to do, so I, was, I wasn't even at home. I was walking around, interacting with other humans, crazy stuff, and uh, so I didn't back until, like, I don't know, 8, 9-ish, and, and then I fell asleep really hard. I woke up, like, 4.30 in the morning, right back to bed. I was, yeah. So I'm still in that state, you know? I don't, I don't think if I went back to sleep right now that I would fall asleep, but I, you know, definitely got the, I'm still in that tired place. Anyway, seeing a blissy is... Well, I like that I burned it, but it's not pleasant when I'm trying to attack with special stuff. So I gotta actually be pretty careful about this one. I got hazards, which is good. But, um, I gotta watch out for Mega Zam. Hopefully it's Mega Scizor, actually. This, this is Gen 6. Yeah, Mega Zam can trace uh, Mega Swamp or Swift Swim, so it's famously very difficult for uh, the for Ray to deal with. It's more of a Gen 7 thing, of course, it's why uh, Rain really likes having something like Magirna. But, well, okay, that's a that's a no defense EVs pussy, that's what it is. Alright, well, let's see, what's the best... Does Thunders claim a KO? No, I'm gonna preserve Thunders because of the Prankster T-Wave, or Zam. So instead, I'm going to go over to this and just Steam Erupt. So even if Starmie tries to switch in, it's going to be... And it doesn't. Fantastic. I was like, oh no, Zam's going to trace. And then I was like, nope, that's not until a Mega Evolves. Although it would be funny to see a Zam, a Mega Zam a switch in to trace a Mega... Or Mega Zam switch in and trace Volcanion's Water Absorb. All right, well, here comes what is very probably a KO, and I got a sack against it. That's Well, you know, no, I'm going to stay in. Hopefully it's not... Yeah, it shouldn't be Mega because of that. And, yeah, Scarf Bulk is faster than Alkazam. Thank you, CBB, for this. Oh, I got I to gotta write him back. He couldn't over the weekend, and then... Or he couldn't during the... I don't remember. Um... Anyway, this is a chance to K up. No. I got the burn. Force a, a yo go. Alright, well, I'll keep this as fodder. It can spin block star me later, so that's cool. And in the meantime, I will just spike. Oh, that's scary. But I can get rain up because um, maybe I should have power whip nah if if Scizor comes in, spikes is a better move. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be consistent. I'm gonna get that third spike. Ooh. Oh, fine. I hope this is Scarf or something. But yeah, I think that third spike was worth it. Because I can mess with Starmie anyway, and we'll see. Oh, now you go to that. Okay. Fine. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was a nice move by uh by my opponent there. But now I've got a max special attack hurricane to dish out. And then... Just barely, but it's fine, because something's getting destroyed here. I, just, I don't need the hazards as much now. Especially because I'm just going to get them back up on the... On the Blissey right now. Unless it... He, uh, seismic tosses twice, in which case it'll KO itself. So. 
And at this point, I'm going to go with... Yeah, now I go to Swampert. Just to... Because the first turn that... Uh, it's not like Gen 7, where Mega Pert... Actually, I'm going to EQ. I don't want to hit into Garchomp's rough skin. If I don't have to. Not that it really makes too much of a difference, which is why I wasn't too bothered by eating that Seismic Toss. But... Uh, yeah... Anyway, um, Star- oh yeah, Starmie's KO'd by- that's wonderful, yeah. Anyway, I- what was I saying? Good lord. Alright, fantastic, I'll just Scald. Maybe I should Toxic Blissey if it comes in, put some pressure on, get another KO. All right, I get one more switch into this thing. Oh, it has heal bells. Yeah, never mind. All right, well now the KOs are coming. Swamper, fantastic. Oh well, that sucks, but I'll just waterfall. Hopefully, Chomp doesn't. Hopefully, Scizor comes in and not uh. Or Zan, that's fine. Yeah, so what I was saying, Gen 7, uh, because of the Mega mechanics, then the first turn Swampert is out, even as it Mega evolves, then it is going to... I have to be careful around the Spark Chomp, actually. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I, gotta, I, I actually got to preserve the... Um... Yeah, I got to preserve Mega Swampert for the Scarf Chomp. Just kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Oh god, I gotta go for the focus last year. Thank god. That was gonna be irritating. <laughs> it's got a very Gen 4 style team. Alright, it is Scarf. Cool. Alright, we go to Politoed. No, I don't get one more turn of uh, rain. That sucks. Okay, so we just stay in and scald. Fine, right, now we go to Swampert. Now we waterfall to really plow Scizor if it comes in. Might still not be enough, honestly, but. I got because I gotta survive the two turns of poison and the bullet punch. I don't know if I. You sack Ferrothorn. This is a tough turn because if it roosts on um if it roosts on the thing on the switch that I'm toast. Yeah, I think I might have tossed this somewhere down the line. Definitely in fact. Next damage twelve percent. So at 27.6, so I'll be at 15.6, actually I'll be at 15.1 because poison is 12.5 uh, on this next turn. So I'll be at 15.1, so I have to take less than 15% from bullet punch. I'm going to take less than, well, how much did that U-turn do to Politoed? Did a pretty decent chunk if I remember. Thirty cent. oh that's not that much. All right, I'm I'm making the call. Fah, uh, that's should have gone to Ferrothorn. There's no way that was going to be predicted. All right, well now I'm going to try and provoke this thing into not using Outrage. Hopefully, it doesn't have Outrage. We're knocking it off. This is my torn is offensive, so it doesn't have the bolt for it. Oh man, I definitely bungled that. Oh, well I can live a Dragon Claw. Wow, that was way too close. I am... Uh, I don't even... The bad thing is, I don't even know where exactly I got... I, I actually was probably staying in in that whole third spike sequence. Should have just gotten a Toad and preserved that Ferrothorn. That was me thinking, oh, I don't need Ferrothorn and not taking into account the Chomp's potential sharpness. So, yeah. 
I recently learned that uh, yawning is really good for relieving head tension. Especially if you make the sound while yawning. You really get rid of it. I tried it and it was like, you know, instant. It was wonderful. So, oh, whatever I yawn. I make a point to um, make the noise as well. And uh, feel all the Gen 5 games dissipating from the ladder, apparently. Oh my god, I'm hilarious. Uh, oh yeah, I want to play on screen, so I'll use this. If I can get it. And I can. I just manifested. Wonderful. Alright, cool. I will take a choice. Alright, I'm fine with that. And I just want to, because CB's Elf is going to, well, it doesn't U-turn, which is surprising. Wow, that does so, I mean, I know it's an offensive sweeping, but that does a lot of damage. God. Cool poke. All right, so, trick CB A's up, what a relic. But yeah, that's a good move, and it's going to be U-turns and headbutt and ice punch, or stealth rock, basically. Well, but not U-turn here, apparently, so this is going to call mind. All right, I'm gonna go to Suicune and just trick it. I will take a plus one Ice Beam, because this is a bulky Scarf Latias. I mean, I would take it even with Noble, because Latias is great, but... Yeah, and now I can go to... Tar and get a Barak, so this is going wonderfully. Yeah, I mean, I do have to be careful now that my Latias no longer has a Scarf, but I think it's something that can be... All right, uh, I will go to Latias here. Hopefully this doesn't U-turn. Oh, why didn't it U-turn on Empoleon then? Maybe they thought they tricked me a scarf or something. I didn't want to just get blown up on, but I mean, okay, sure. Uh, all right, well, with Suicune Scarf, then Gyarados gets a lot scarier. Sucks to lose Healing Wish, but, you know, I'll deal. And would I rather it blow up on... Champ or Garrett? Well, Garrett can live, because I have some gold. I can also go to my Bandit in Plan, but I like... This thing has lefties, actually, so it might even be slower. No, nah, we're, we're gonna go to Empoleon. It's too valuable. Like, I want to get in Gara before rocks go up. That was the main thing. But, you know, potentially just getting a free KO on this Heatran. Alright, it's Spadef Heatran on an offensive team. I mean, I'm getting so thrown off. Like, why would that Azelf not U-turn, like, ever? Alright, well, rather than this on the Protect, I'm just going to crunch on the next Protect. Just to make... Why? Why would you not sack Azelf? Alright, now he's going to Protect. No, why? I know I'm, I know I'm low. Why are you so... I I don't understand. I really don't. The U-turn was free. The the, Macha the heat train can be valuable. Why are you not sacrificing? Ugh, okay. Fortunately, Jirachi is going to be pretty good against this kind of offensive team. So It's going to be like Flygon and Breloom and... Um, hey, look at that. And I'm Lum, too, so this is going to get punched in the face. Outstanding. And you know what I'm going to do? Oh, well, it was it's Lum T-Tar, too, so I wanted to support again and have the second Lum go off. And, uh, and it was, it was going to get KO'd by Sand anyway. So here's Flygon. This I'm not switching out again, because I don't really want to... Actually, it does, it is very incentivized to U-turn here, but okay, fine. Problem, uh, EQ is actually kind of an issue for me now. But rather than go right to Gera, I'm going to go, and the last is Jirachi, yeah. So rather than go right to Gera, I'm going to get another KO and minimize the sacrifice. Yes, and then I will go to 
Actually, the opposing call mind Jirachi is kind of irritating. So is the fact that that Flygon has a scarf. I think it's doable. Yeah, actually, this is major pain. Yeah, I mean, I could have switched to Jirachi, but yeah, I hope this is sub calm mind and not um not super Rachi. I mean, who knows? This is such a such a drastic change from what that or the original team was, because that would never have a Spadef trip. All right, great. I get the free KO on. Um, Flygon, that's wonderful. On, on Suicune, actually. Actually, no, I am T-Bolting because I want to take less damage from uh, Suicune, for sure. And if Flygon does come in on EQ, then I Psychic. And, um... Oh god, I'm still in a not-so-fun position here. But that EQ is definitely coming. So, now I'm gonna... Uh, this is still an ugly position to be in. I'm going to EQ for sure, just to really smack that thing. Rather than DD, and then EQ, and then you have Flygon coming back in, and the ugly games that arise from that. Alright, I am in torrent range, and I'm cho- Oh my god, this is amazing, look at this. I'm in torrent range, and I've been given a choice ban. So I don't know if this Aquajet is actually going to KO, but <laughs> it's, uh, oh, that's so awesome that it did that much. Okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, both of the moves that hit Jirachi here are not moves that uh, atta attack Flygon at all, and I don't want to Psychic into it. You know what? Let's, let's. Bring up the damage calc. Wood Psychic from Modest Jirachi. KO uh, another Jirachi. Let's just assume Superachi. Hey, you know what? It kind of would. Yes. Outstanding. Even the Lumberry kicking in. Wonderful. Alright, and now the Flygon has the... Well, it has to Outrage, obviously, so I'm going to stay in and Psychic. But the answer was not to go to Gera and to... Um... Yeah, I mean, and now this is just a matter of fusion. And I have Bulk on this Gera. I don't think I can take minus one, though. Maybe a ship Nah, I think. Okay, great. All right, that that game was not you know won as nicely as I wanted, but I did like the second part. Mostly, you know what I did? I I, I should have just attacked the stupid Heatran. Why was it? I still don't understand why all that stuff was happening. It was so ridiculous. But uh, whatever. Whatevs. It's fine. So. Yeah, the game is being a little kind to me today after that horrible. I, uh, I know, I know. You should adapt to your opponent. I shouldn't complain about them being bad, but I just don't know why you would throw away a potentially useful Pokemon over something that literally dies to rocks. Uh, that, that, that was just. Yeah. Alright, if the next Gen 4 game does not happen, then try Gen 5 again or Gen 3. I still haven't cleaned up my Jet 3 team builder. Alright, cool. Hey, a rain team without a spinner. That makes this lead choice very easy. And uh, two Stealth Rock weeks, so. Yeah, Breloom enjoys this matchup quite a bit. Dragonite always helps. I guess if this is that ancient Scarf Jirachi. No, it's not going to be Scarf Jirachi, because it should be a uh, Scarf Scizor. Yeah, it's one of those super old mixed things. This set is actually a major pain, but I think it, well, it's not, actually, no, I take it back, because it doesn't have, um, I'm going to actually preserve Tarak now, because it can be kind of threatening. It doesn't have a fire move, because it is, uh, what is it? It's, um, on a rain team. 
actually kind of want to pursue it because whatever I superpowered, I don't know if I really care about it. And I do like damage on this Jirachi. It might be, if it's a slow Jirachi though, it might be, like uh, the Spadef you turn though, then I might just thud into nothing. So I'm going to play it safe and not get too cute and just uh, SD, or uh, SP rather. Part of me was thinking, oh, maybe I should sword dance and destroy the Politoed with the... Uh, but then if it's slow U-turns into uh, Keldeo, then I have accomplished. Oh, cool. It's HP fire on a rain team. That's... So what's that last move? Thunder? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't have anything to hurt Terrakion with. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm getting that spin off. And then the cascade of sweepers, especially because Chomp is Sash. Chomp Sash, Dragonite Multiscale, Breloom Sash. Alright, I don't know why that's the switch in. All right, let's let's do the calc so I don't wind up hydro pumping if uh, ice beam KOs. Oh, it was uh, it was expecting a, an electric move, of course. So let's see how much ice. Be yeah, okay, ice beam is not KOing from that range, even against non bulky thunderous. It's uh, not a good roll, so we're just gonna go for hydro. And destroy. Wonderful. Now this is this is why running offense. I know I mentioned it in the first one. This is why running offense is so inconsistent for the ladder. Well, I mean, it, it, in general, it's less consistent um, than defense. Yeah, another one of these videos. But uh, the part that makes it way less consistent on ladder is that you have to hit these inaccurate moves over and over. And offensive teams that don't use inaccurate moves don't hit hard enough to you know, justify their use. So. Uh, we're gonna hydro this Jirachi too, and okay, good. It just thundered. It didn't even uh, icy wind, which would have been the annoying thing. And now we have a very free EQ with Garchomp that nothing switches into. And even if Keldeo revenge kills, then it is oh, or that I'll take the KO there. Well, actually, Dragonfly doesn't KO, but I don't get KO'd in return. And then all right, so that means the Keldeo isn't scarfed. So that is better for Dragonite. Anyway, even if Keldeo did Revenge Kill, then the EQ knocks it into, or helps knock it into range for, what's it called? Reload. So I'm going to sac. What do I sack here? Tracker. Actually, I don't really want this thing setting up. For free, anyway. So I'll just get the rough skin on it. And then DD with Dragonite, and might even be able to DD twice actually, just to ensure. Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that. Well, no, because I, I can't. Uh, then I can't attack it after, so I'll just hit it with that Fire Punch. Yeah, no, I was never gonna be able to DD twice. Never mind. As long as uh, <laughs> no silliness happens. But yeah, now I just Outrage, and then Breloom will seal the deal. Good measure. Wonderful. Now we'll search for the next game in Gen 3. Just because this one's over, so it's not like I'm really... Yeah. I mean, Keldeo... I, I, I think Keldeo feasibly could... Because Keldeo's naturally bulky. Well, no, I wouldn't expect bulky Starmie to live this. So maybe not. I, I overestimate Keldeo's bulk sometimes. But I mean, hey, it lives uh, uninvested... Um, uh, what's it called? It lives uninvested uh, Tornadus Theory and Hurricane. So, you know. But yeah, even if it does live this outrage, then, you know, really will finish it off. So it's fine. Is this a speed tie between our... Yeah, it is. That's funny. Alright, well, I want the... Well, no, if this thing subs again, then it's too weak. So... Sub Hydro, great. Glad I didn't switch T-Tar into that like I was thinking about. Maybe on the next sub I'll switch to Tar. 
there's no way it's weak. I mean, it, it might weaken me into um, into range for Doug, but he needs some BS. Plus one Hydro into Blissey. Are you serious? Actually, no, I'm not going to mess uh, risk the Teton. Well, that would have been fine, but sure. Oh, it just blew up right away. Well, here comes the Doug, but then here comes uh, Scarberry. So I'm fine with that. Relatively, anyway. Especially because I'm going to, not just going to spike, I'm going to thief. Uh, funnily enough, because spikes are, this is why, like, dedicated spikes offense, or I should say, spikes offense is good, but, like, spikes offense that relies on finishing the game very quickly. See, like, thieving Zapdos is going to be way better here, because now it's going to lose health in the center. Which is actually very important, because I don't really have much in the way of uh, a great Zapdos answer. <laughs> Uh, once Blissey goes down, of course, which is why I probably should have been a little more careful. Uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna Ice Punch, and good, good, I would love for that Zapdos to get, okay, well, I'll take that. But I would love for Zapdos to trade itself for Jirachi. So now, you know, Scarm's gonna come back in again. Now Spike with Sand Up, Zapdos out of the picture. What else is this special offense to throw at me? Yeah, special offense struggling to break Skarmory, because Skarmory is balanced. Oh, okay, that's actually very irritating to deal with. Hmm, okay. Well, the answer is definitely to Roar. Hopefully not to Suicune. Oh, Clay, okay, that's manageable. Oh, it's the Smurf team, okay. And now you just start drill pecking. All right, take a Hydro. Good. That's definitely... Yeah, Arrow, Arrow is a saving grace, but this is why Kingdra is such a great Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, those like uh, Smeargle teams, for example, they're really, um, they really struggle with this. They... They get their layer of spikes, sure. But it's not always, or not very reliably, uh, enough of a way to uh, facilitate winning the game. Because the game doesn't go long enough for the spikes to really uh, take their toll on the opponent. And the, uh, the power of spikes, I mean, it's great and everything. But if you're not forcing your opponent to switch around a lot, then that immediate damage from spikes is not, it does not tend to be that much of a difference maker in helping you get KOs. You know, like um, these Pokemon that are supposed to take on, let's say, plus one DD Tar and Mence and whatnot, they're going to be able to deal with the spike on the field anyway. So just because you set it up fast and put on more pressure, that just means, it, it often, you know, paradoxically means that you're on more of a timer because and you haven't supported your sweepers enough. This is, you know, a broad term, generally. Smeagol teams can be very successful. They are very dangerous sometimes. But yeah, I think here, Surf is the move. Uh, because... Well, I mean, obviously I want to hit Clay at all if it switches in. But if, um... Yeah, okay. I wanted to hit uh, Kingdra if it switches in as well. I hope this doesn't have HP Grass. But if it does then it means it has to hit a lot of Hydro Pumps, which is not a good or reliable way of doing this, but you know, not exactly leaving me with a lot in the options department. Okay, now we... Just click double it. Eh, no, not quite. No, we... Yeah, Suicune is a problem, too. Well, if I can keep Spikes off, but... Okay, I think it's doable. I can't let the Kingdra set up Rain again. All right, time for the calc. Now the calc is so useful. Should use it all the time. Indra, Rain Dance Sweeper. That EQ did a lot, so I don't think this has a lot of pull. All right, it'll do. Yeah, more than half. Well, actually, that's against Max HP Kinker too, and that Swamper EQ. Or, uh, yeah, that Swamper EQ did. 
46. So there's no way this is like a max HP character. This is... Yeah, so if we assume that, then we just, um... Yeah, save the T-Tar for now. Oh, it hydro. Okay. Good. And now we spam double edge and blast through everything. This, this uh, arrow is actually slower than Dug Trio because I'm I'm a funny guy. Hopefully I just get sacrificed here. <laughs> yeah. Or Claydol can come in and get whacked. I'm fine with that. Now I keep my spike. Totally cool with that. And uh Suicune. Well, I mean, the problem is Suicune comes in here, which I don't like. And it gets to 46-ish. Because it's not going to be a 53, so. Yeah, Suicune. I should have gone right to Jirachi against the Gengar instead of letting Blissey get blown up. But I was like, oh, it's going to roll this first. And yeah, now the Suicune is going to be a problem. So is the King Draw. There's no way that the um Oh that's that's bold sweet. I didn't even notice I was putting in defensive sweet here. Okay, double edge, yeah, not quite gonna be in range. Yeah, the problem is that Suicune lives double edge. So even if I sack T Tar against it, then it's not going to live. And then even if I KO it with Sand, then the Kingdra finishes off Skarmory. So, what I got to do is go for Rock Slide against Suicune. But the good news is, I think it's going to be. It's going to have to hit Hydro through. Um, through flinch, so that's already you know, plus one. And if it goes for modest ice beam, then I will definitely live it because the point of this arrow being slower is that it lives, um, that it has a special offense EVs rather. Let's it do really cool stuff. Like uh, pivot into Super Rachi and Super Celebi Psychic really easily. Oh, I just get the free KO on the Kingdra then. Fine by me. Yeah, so I, I went on that uh, spike super fast offense thing to mention that in fast games like this, then, you know, the spike is not going to be as immediately useful as thieving, which what is very likely going to be a Zapdos. And if Zapdos doesn't come in, then they're not going to be able to threaten you nearly as much. So, okay. Uh... What is the move here? Well, I don't want to... S can can T-Tar take two Rock Slides? Because i got to have a Pokemon able to... That I can sacrifice. Um, that I can set in after Arrow gets KO'd by Suicune. Unless I want to go the Rock Slide route, which I don't think I do. But, um, this T-Tar is really bulky, actually, right? Yeah, it is. It's uh, 16, 120, the old spread. So I think, can I take two slides? And uh, no, I can't. Not, not very likely. So I think I got to just take. Okay, it's an adamant dug. Cool. Actually, I think I don't even switch to T-Tar. I think I stay in and just double edge, and then um. Is, what's the roll going to be on Sweep? I know my timer's low. Substitute. Right, why is Dunk here? Because if it KOs me... Yeah, I'm going for Double Edge. Oh, no! Oh, good. Yeah. Why did that do so little? 
Okay. Well, Hydro Pump is bad. Offense is bad, and uh, I'm validated once again. Yeah, I know this is this has been an ugly one. Well, no, no, not really until now, but yeah, I really did. That double edge did. Uh, oh, I guess it did pretty much minimum damage. But I guess at that point, then um, it's not really much of a difference maker unless I'm missing something. Yeah, so I had to either crit double edge or dodge uh, hydro. Yeah, hydro is a not good move. And relying on it repeatedly is a bad feeling. <laughs> yeah, alright. Go Jirachi. Oh, Blaze again. One of the few leads I don't want to face. I'll just go right to. Swampert, because I can take an HP Grass. And I have the tools to play around something like a DD Tar, DD Ments kind of setup in the background. So, not to mention, I don't think it's very likely for there to be a Magneton, so, uh, alongside Blaziken. So, it is going to be good in that sense. Also, oh, the Swampert doesn't have that much spin up. I thought I had more of a little tip for that HP Grass. Alright, there's a Dust Clop. Some silly stuff is going to ensue. So, whatevs. Yeah, this is not going to be a very thrilling game, I don't think. But, you're here for the ASMR, I think. Body slam, I'll just... Hey, I can't get a... Uh, oh my god, that was totally intentional. Can't get burned now. Oh, on the, on the not-so-bright side, I did not steal lefties, I stole a black belt. So good to know that Dust Clops has a Brick Breaker Focus Punch. And Blizzard. That's cool. Or sh okay, so it has Black Belt. I don't know. Low Ladder. I am going to break that, uh, that one game at a time thing because, I mean, come on, this game is going to be... Yeah, I say that and then something dumb is going to happen. I'm not letting. I'm not willing to let Titar get uh, burned by the Scarred of War. For all I know, the theme of this team is every Pokemon must either be Fire type or have a Fire type move. And in Gardevoir's case, that would be uh, Will O Wisp. All right, that looks like a banded Ment. Well, okay, I say it looks like it, but I. That's probably not the case here. But I don't want to eat a CB Brick Break anyway. Oh! Hydro Pump into Blissey. Well, that 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 could have even either been a next level prediction or just low ladder stuff. Yeah, okay. So I'll get a Wish. Just to be safe. Alright. Great username we've got in the second battle. And, uh... Physically, uh, not especially defensive Skarmory, I'll tell you that. And if there's not, like, a Rest Pokemon or a Moltres or Charizard coming in here, then Jirachi and its fun, serene grace antics will always threaten a burn, which is nice. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, the main issue with this team is that it um, really likes having sand early in the game for things like Suicune. But I like leading off with Jirachi, so. Anyway. Uh, fun fact, like, DD special meds, haha. But also, um, DD on mix meds, like, real mix meds, is actually kind of good. Just because Dragon Claw, Fire Blast, and Brick Break are all, you know, decent options. Oh, no. Well, this is going to brick for it, or focus punch, then it's going to get deleted. I hope it does. SD protect. Alright, now I'm not sure. And the spike is no way this... Alright, yeah, it's just going to be silly. And I'll steal the lefties from that scar.
But yeah, Dragon Claw, Brick Break, Fire Blast is the standard on Mixed Men's is already you know, most of what you need, so you get to experiment with weird stuff. Um, outside of that, and yeah, excuse me, uh, and uh, so you can use Roar, Wish, Hydro Pump, HP Grass, Toxic, whatever. Uh, but Dragon Claw is a very, very legitimate choice because it uh, lets you. It's not just for the boost of Brick Break. But it negates, uh, what's it called? Revenge killing uh, as an option. So, like, late game, you have a mix, but it's like, okay, guys, sacrifice, and then I outspeed it with my Starmie or my Aerodactyl or whatever. It's like, suddenly you don't. All right, lefty stolen from Jirachi. That is excellent. This Magneton is really determined to make its way through Blissey, which is funny. Yeah, we're mostly focusing on this one because that other game is kind of, you know. Alright, if it's going to wish, I will wish as well. Oh my goodness, and now I get to wish to Skarmory. Perfect. You see here why um, Heracross is not really a Spikes Pokemon, because the things that switch into it are Spikes Immune, generally. Not just Scar, but you know, Mens, Zapdos, Gengar, Moltres Charizard. You know, not to say that, it, and it just is an awkward fit on Spikes teams. Never quite works out so nicely. Alright, let's see if we can get this cool little Scar team the game. We can. There's Azel. We're gonna icy win. Hopefully, oh, it, what is with the what is the second CV Azel today? I wonder why. All right, well, we'll go to Gengar on the U-turn. No, we're gonna go to no, we're gonna taunt this Heatran. I don't know why this Azel. It must be the same player. I do not know why this um. This, what's it called? The this Azelf refuses to. Oh come on! It's wide lens. That's the whole point. Yeah, I don't know why this Azelf refuses to. Um, refuses a U-turn. If this key trade stays in again, I'm I'm going right back to sleep. No, I'm not, because i got to go to work later. Yes. Outstanding. That is, uh, that's Flygon for you. Alright, well now... I think I'm going to have to pull that same trick of, uh, scarfing the Suicune with... With, uh, with Lodeon. Alright, cool, I'll take it. Oh, even better, okay. What's coming in? Heatran, Azelf, Reloom, Jirachi, right? Well, I'd like Sand against pretty much every one of these. I also want Rocks, but I don't really need them. The only thing stopping me from going to Flygon is the possibility of Azelf coming in or something stupid. Hmm. Now I'm going to T-Tar. Oh my goodness, how did I know? Alright, well now I have sand chipping thing, so I'm going to go to Scar on the U-turn, and I am going to grin and bear, oh, I was going to say, Heatran coming in, and just, you know, get, because I'm faster, I'll get up rocks, but I will, I don't think I can take an unboosted uh, Thunderbolt with this, because this has zero, wait, no, it's max HP, so I probably can. No, yeah, I definitely can. What am I talking about? I don't, uh, oh, wait, it's at night. For some reason, I thought it was in the 70s. Okay, I'm getting rocks. Okay, fine. And now I'm gonna 
go to Flygon. Okay, great. I had, I'm, I'm just glad I didn't call mine a second time. And now I will DD. I know the Suicune is the Scarf now, but... Hmm. Question is... And, and then Jirachi's gonna go crazy. That's my saving grace, really. Um... Am I gonna crunch right away? So I have Chopple Berry for if the Breloom is Mach Punch. So Crunch or Fire Punch? I, well, there's no reason not to Fire Punch. Let's not be silly. If that parrot, I was gonna scream. <laughs> Alright. Glad I crunched that, so this is even... Yeah, okay, that was a no doubt. Actually, once the Jirachi takes damage and no longer has a Calm Mind, even the... Okay, I don't know why this is coming in. This is faster, so I'm just gonna assume. Hashtag low ladder thing. But, uh, yeah, once the Jirachi takes damage and no longer has a Calm Mind, even the Latias is a threat, so I can go to it here. I could even Healing Wish if I really wanted to. But there's no need, I'll just, uh, T-Bolt. And if Sweet and if Breloom comes in on Teeble, fine, I'll Draco. And even if Jirachi then comes in, then Jirachi gets KO'd on the Draco. And so that uh, so the end result is that Breloom just took it uh, no damage or took damage for no reason. Um, because I'll wind up Dracoing anyway, but I can potentially get the extra benefit of Thunderbolting into Jirachi and then getting to Draco again on Sweet Moon or Breloom. So lots of upside. Fun. Yeah, okay, Empoleon, Heracross lead, cool. Well, this is going to CC and drop its defense, and then I will blow it away. I guess not. Alright, well, this is Banded to Gera, so I'm just going to waterfall. Hopefully this doesn't have stone. It probably does, but not like I can really... Get too fancy here. Well, maybe I could go to. I was gonna say if it's Sash, I could maybe go to um, Metagross and get up some rocks once it's been intimidated. But you know. Anyway, if you ever need uh, more proof that uh, Hydro Pump is the devil, then there you go. <laughs> here we have our T. -tar Good Lord, that is so much. Maybe I should. Set nah, nah, nah. It's gonna crunch. Alright, so at least, uh, what do I want to sacrifice more? T-Tar or... Well, Empoleon can Aqua Jet something, so I'm gonna let that go. Question is, what goes in on the double... Well, Metagross is good on a double down, because it lives even Heatran Fire Blast. And is immensely difficult to KO, so it's a good choice. Perfect, I can even set up rocks here. Lots of ways I can deal with this, because, okay, I can blow up. I can go to Latias, I can Intimidate with Gyarados, I can check with Kingdra. I'm going to go the Gyarados route, because I don't think this that thing is particularly eager to DD again. Now the question is, what is its coverage? Oh, it's Power Herb Bounce, okay. So, can it even hurt Gyara without bouncing? I mean, I can't switch like this forever, but it also can't boost forever. So you know what? I'm gonna go for Outrage here. And if it... Yeah, for that reason. No! Oh, come on. Ugh, that's obnoxious. Good. That's way less power than Bounce. Alright, I'm hoping... Since this looks like a low ladder team of offensive junk, I'm going to hope slash assume that it's... Well, that's not what I want to see. I was going to say a bunch of stuff that's outspent and destroyed by Scarf Latios, but... Well, that, that Snorlax doesn't have lefties, at least. And if it's going to curse, it's more inclined to stay in and slug it out with Metagross, which I am totally okay with. Is it Resto Chesta? Okay, fine. That just means it's not going to blow up and do more damage to me. Well, I mean, I, I'm going to blow up on it for things get really out of hand, so like now, but yeah, cool. Okay, now 
I need, I, I want to have two sacrifices if possible. Okay, great. Two sacrifices so I have more ways of dealing with whatever, whatever the last is. Yeah, Weavile, you know, classic, classic low ladder. And Tentacruel, okay. We sack the Empoleon, hopefully this isn't like... Oh, wow, we don't even sack the Empoleon. We get a nice Torrent Aqua Jet on it. So it pivots into Sludge Bomb, and then we go to Kingdra. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I Thunderbolt. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, fine, you know, if this wants to boost up its defenses, I'll just knock it off. Okay, fine. Dragon Pulse, no need to get cute with Draco. There's no way this lives. Specs, even if it's like Calm Max Tentacruel. It's not going to live Specs, Kingdra, Dragon Pulse into... Oh, Miracle, funny. Into Latias Thunderbolt. So, wonderful. Cool, cool. Alright, let's go with some... And six. Yeah, let's go with this because it's fun. Oh, wow, that looks kooky for sure. And it looks annoyed by Thunderous very, very much. Most things are, so. I guess that Charizard doesn't really... If it's X, then it's... Well, if it's X, I'm just going to T-Wave it, which is what I would want to do to it anyway. Fine, great. Okay, so now I don't really have a great switch. Oh, no, I'll go to, I'll go to Manaphy, because I, I don't think Manaphy's going to get much done. I will take that recoil, for sure. Uh, but, yeah, with Ferrothorn and Thunderous Therian, then, yeah. All right, cool. That was relatively painless. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Mega Metagross can come in here and get some bra. Yeah, I, I want rocks for sure. Well, I want to get rid of uh, this Excadrill, because Mega Metagross will live uh, an EQ. Well, it's his life orb or something stupid. Um, yeah. But yeah, I want rocks to help deal with the Thunderous, because if I get rocks up, then Superior is just going to go insane. Uh, but without rocks, then Thunderous is more apt at dealing with... Or Thunderous Therian is more apt at dealing with Superior. And uh, my own Thunderous, incidentally. You know, not well, but... Yeah, so attack here, and then... Yeah, look at those me uh, Mega Mechanics. Gen 7, Metagross would have just... I mean, unless it's Scarf Exca, of course, but... Alright, well, I'm not going to get rocks on this... Oh, nice. Well, hopefully this doesn't, like, attack me on the Switch. It's very nicely played. Okay, fine. I will take that, for sure. Hopefully it protects. Yes! Outstanding. Wonderful. Amazing. Incredible. Okay, now we will go to... Hmm, what will we go to? Funnily enough, Latias is actually kind of a threat. I mean, if it's going to... It's likeliest to make it stay in and take an HP fire. I mean, I know Azumarill's right there, but... I'm thinking, yes, good. I will take that, absolutely. It's not even Protect. Uh, or not even uh, Lefties with Protect, that's funny. Alright, I'm going to try and T-Wave here. What? Why? Why, 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 why? I don't understand. I, I that was, no, I should have just HP fired. I would have been fine even if the Zoom did come in. Who cares? I overdid it. But, looks like, super, if this mirror coats, I'm going to be upset. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, it's, okay. Well, now I'm just going to leap storm everything. And then Thunders should win too, so it's this is going to do a million. Yes. And I'm going to knock off to not risk anything. I don't know what that French was earlier, by the way, but also who cares. Uh, what will we... No, you know what we do? We stay in Leaf Storm so it doesn't recover and 
heal itself out of thunderous range and then do something stupid. Like Scald Crit Burn and to become, you know, in range for Azumarill. So this way we just guarantee that Thunderous wins. Good. It's Magnet too, so no chance of like Calm Milotic shrugging this off or something. Unlike the Rain Team, which has Yachu. Wonderful. Let's go. Let's switch it up with the Gen 5. Ah, let's go with this team again in a second. Wow, we are still really low on Gen 5, huh? It's facing stuff like that. Great. Alright, well, looks like we're facing Trick Room. So, Taunt, Rocks, Scizor, SD. Scizor actually mauls this real good. <laughs> I'm going to take a bathroom break soon because I am hydrated. This Electros probably lives, actually. But it's not like I can really afford to switch around it. And this is just uh, less damage. Er, oh, never mind. Because I overestimated that thing. The Dusclop is definitely going to take the Pursuit, but I can't really afford to switch around it either, so I just got to stay in and peruse it. So, you know, force the odds to be in your favor. Force, you know, Pursuit Crit, Will-O-Wisp Miss, stuff like that. Oh, it just Trick Rooms, okay. I wonder if it's going to Fire Punch me or something. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going to set up that makes this that scary, though. Alright, I mean, I'm just looking to Bullet Punch this. It's not going to do anything because it's a solid rock, but... Lisa breaks a sub, so I'm fine with that. And I have, uh, sa actually, not only do I have Sash on two things, well, do I want, what do I want to preserve the Sash for more? I have Sash on Chomp or Breloom. I kind of like the ability to, S well, both of them can SD. Hmm. I have Mach Punches, but it's not going to KO. Hmm. I, I might be overthinking this, though, because I think I'm able to deal with pretty much everything that's going to be thrown at me. Starmie's my sacrifice. Uh, but I have a better feeling about keeping Breloom intact, so... Especially because, uh, Garch unless this thing has Ice Punch, then Garchomp will not be taken... Okay, it's going to basically get taken down to the Sash. I underestimated Orb Red Carrier, or overestimated Chomp's bulk. But, um... Reelum definitely would have been taken down to the Sash, so... Okay, now we sacrifice... Army? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not... I, no, I'm gonna Hydro, come on. You can't be that afraid. I'm not hitting your moves. Good. Spam Rapid... Er, Thunderbolt now. Just, uh... Play it super, super safe. Also, theoretically, hits a Crawdon switch in. But... Alright, you know what we do now? We go to Garchomp and get Rough Skin. Yes. And we knock it into range for Dragonite Fire Punch. We lose multi scale, but it's okay because we still have Sash Loom. And there's not a lot of transit trick room. And Dragonite has insane bulk, so it's going to live a hit from either of these things anyway. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too outraged. No, I'm just going to outrage and. God, no, that does a lot because Orb Reinforce is nuts. But yeah, no, after this, Breloop comes in and, uh, and cleans up. Wonderful. Cool, alright. Should we start messing around with some other teams? I have this really silly Sun team, Sun Stall, that I built uh, a while ago. Just, just for kicks. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm hydrated even early in the morning, so I'm gonna go take a bathroom break. BRB.
You know what I realized uh, while I was taking my bathroom break? I'm not, I'm always hydrated, but I'm also hungry. Not great, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have a need to get up hazards immediately. I, I want to burn this thing because it can potentially trap uh, Fortress, funnily enough. What a matchup. Yeah, the idea behind this Sunstall team is to live long enough that you can... Um, well, sweeping with Volk is one possibility, of course. But uh, if you can't get the spin off with Fortress, like if you face a Chandelure of all things. But yeah, there's there's stuff like Lunar Dance Crest here. It's cool. And but uh, Scarf Scarf Victini is the name. There you go, just S toss. All right, cool. All I gotta do is EQ that uh, Chandelure, you know, once, and then it'll be fine. Zam coming right in. I wonder what it could want. Lefty Zam to fish for misses against mud slapped Pokemon. That is special. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to Nine Tails because it's probably sub call mine or something, and use Roar. And that should be... Okay, it's not Calm Mining, so it's not a threat. Ooh, there's Scar. Cool. Go to Fori. Get some uh, spikes. Because if Starmie comes in to spin them, then it will... I assume Chandler will come in to block. Yeah. Oh, I'm really glad I didn't EQ them, because it's Balloon. The Chandler is actually really annoying because I can't touch it with Chansey. It's really irritating. Do I have to like let Fury lose its sturdy in order to um, break the balloon? That's unpleasant. No, I, th I think I just got to go to. I got to sacrifice Nine Tails and then revenge it with uh, Victini. Which is very unpleasant because I'm taking all this hazard damage. I can bolt strike doesn't. Oh come on! Really? It's victory star boosted. What is the accuracy on that? Come on. Yeah. Well, now I think I just lose the game on the spot, which is really bad. <laughs> I have to like PP stall it with Chansey or something. Well, let's see how much it's doing to Cress. Wow, I was really made to regret that, wasn't I? Okay, well... This thing might have HP fire. I don't know. I'm just gonna ice beat. Oh, T-Wave. Okay, well, no, now we get to Fori, and then we HP ice, and hope that Chandelure comes in and... There's no way this thing, uh... Waste to sub. Come on now. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Well, we just keep spiking then. Yeah, and then Volcarona should win down the line. Well, yeah, this is going to be a thriller. <laughs> Actually, I don't even want to attack and waste PP. I'm just going to keep switching around. I know there's a Fable in the back, which won't care for my hazards, but... Uh, that's not a problem. Alright, Probo Pass is now ruined. A lower ladder is always interesting. I'm going to double dip again just because... Well, no, I won't, because um, this game is actually... Oh, whoops, too late. Alright, there's Starmie, but, you know, it doesn't beat Chansey, so I'll just get the rocks. Actually, uh, eventually I might even just go to Volcarona and set up on it. It is sunny, after all. This team doesn't have uh, hazards, or sorry, spin, so easy decision to rocks. And then Stone Edge, because it's leading off with a Gengar. Cool. 
and I assume the safe. Oh no, focus blast right away. Okay, this is gonna switch. I'm gonna pursue. Why? Maybe because I was afraid of pursuit. Maybe this is like scarf or something. It is scarfed. Scarf Gengar, Gen Five. What a thing. All right, I don't know what this fable is gonna do. Cosmic power. Okay. That's actually kind of annoying. Uh, I'll go to Volcarona and just start muscling my way through. I know this could have stored power, but I'll also be boosting my spit up, so. What? Oh, come on. Well, I have Lunar Dance, so I don't really care that much. So I'll try to crit it a few times. And, um. Or. No, I, I, it has, um. Magic Guard, so. And then I'll Lunar Dance to it later, it's fine. So I guess I just gotta sit on it. Alright, I don't know what's going on in this game, but I'm just gonna keep attacking. Alright, is this like... No, it's not a stored power. I don't even know if it has stored power Gen 5. Cool. <laughs> the second game is uh, going swimmingly. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna keep wishing... I'm, you know, I'm gonna take this opportunity to heal up all my folks. 4 and Volk, that's it. Mostly 4 so I have the emergency sturdy. Yeah, and I'll just keep uh, spiking to bring uh, Starmie closer and closer to being KO'd. And now wish to Volk. This also a Scarf Chomp? No way, yeah. So now we DD with Chomp, and why was that the... It doesn't matter, I'm overthinking it. But this lives dual Chomp even without multi, so... Now something has to get sacrificed before it gets revenge killed by the opposing D-Knight E-Speed, or Scarf Kill. Well, don't sacrifice Scarf Kill, they'll Scarf Kill her. Actually, you never know. But yeah, something would get melted, and that was fine with me, so. Yeah. Thrilling uh, PP war between the Fable and this team. easy. I guess we'll go for another one. It's complete uh, opposites. I think this team has some potential, actually. It's not like just a silly idea I had once, but, you know, it's obviously not going to be the most consistent thing in the world or anything close to it. Yeah, that is a lot of PP I'm going to have to make my way through. Alright, I'm just going to go to Volk and now start unleashing Sunny Flamethrowers. No, no need to set up, just, just attack right off the bat. Nothing's really going to like switching into him. I guess feasibly Shandle the word, but... Oh god, I gave it flash fire. Oh, I should have bug buzzed. <sighs> okay, well... That's actually really bad. I gotta bug buzz it now. Oh, that's really bad. I shouldn't have just... I, I should have taken a different route. Well... Yikes, that did so much. Yeah, I think I gotta PP stall this too with Chansey. Or... Now you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna soft boil with Chansey and then wish to Cress and see what happens. God, that doesn't work. I, actually, I don't even think I can. Well, maybe, but... there's No, there's no way if Chansey is taking this much from Flamethrower that Press has any hope. Yeah, I, I think I just toasted myself with that. Literally. That was very silly of me. Oh, that's Sub. 
Okay, well, I got a lot of PP, so... But it's just one flamethrower crit, and I'm to Or, not crit, but burn, really, and then I'm toast. So, yeah, th this game I don't have any expectations for. How foolish of me. This game, at least, looks okay. But, yeah, that, that burn goes off, and I'm going to... You know what, uh, now my next hope, if you can call it that. I'm not even out healing Flamethrower at this point. Jeez. Um, I'm going to EQ because I don't want to risk Stone Edge, and uh, I just want to break the Sash. Yeah, it's still going to be in real range, so it's fine. Thank God. Oh, it's not HP Fire. Okay, so I can pursue this. HP Ice. Uh, I, I guess I can blame the, uh, the Bolt Strike miss, because that was really bad. But, ah, it's frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna... Hope for one more good roll than I wish. Eh, I gotta wish now. Just pray. <laughs> and I mean, what am I even gonna do with the crest? Like healing or lunar dance? The chancy? I get. No, not even. So now I gotta hope that I can live two shadow balls. I wa yeah, I wanted to like to provoke it into shadow balling, which probably does less than. Wow. Well. Can I? Can this still be one? Don't full para. Come on, that could have been one. That absolutely could have been one. Oh, you are. That's so. Oh, that's such nonsense. That could have been one for sure. Oh well. That's frustrating. All right. Well, I don't know what this, but probably just set up rocks. But I mean, okay. Now I'm just going to SD a couple times and go to town. Especially if this is a Spadef Gliscor, which is going to get obliterated by plus four or bullet punch. Oh, come on now. Fine. Fine. Nah, I should have just pulled a punch right off the bat, I guess. I hope Jellison comes in. Well, if the tar comes in, I hope it's not Scarf. But if, if it's a Spadef Scarm, then that would be the perfect place to put a Scarf Tar. The scarf Tar is better than Chopple. But it loses to Zam, so you gotta have like a really solid Zam answer, and Spef Scarm is one of the solider ones. Alright. And if it's not, okay, I mean, okay. That's. This just makes it uh, scarier for. I mean, Latios is gonna toast me at this point anyway, so I shouldn't have lost a scissor like that. Unless it's not Scarf Latios, which... Actually, even... No, even Scarf Latios it really toasts me. Yeah, unless I can get... No, I have to hope that it's not Scarf Latios, and that I can get the spin off. Because if, if I can do that... Then I can win. Still not looking great, but it's possible at least. Because of the... Yeah, because of Chomp Sash. Great, okay, so who do we value way less? We go to... Hmm. I don't want to get uh, fire blasted here. So I think I kind of want to go to Dragon... Yeah, Dragonite. Great. Outstanding. Let's 
got the, uh, the T-Wave Tar, which I'm, I like very much, because it uh, destroys Zam. The whole point with Chapel Tar is that you still, in a one-on-one, -on -one, you still lose to it if it hits Focus Blast or runs Grass Knot. But with T-Wave, then you ruin it, just beyond repair. Okay, fantastic. Yes! Well, I mean, I can still lose this far, but... Oh, I forgot. Ladder is not like a tournament play at all. It's very, very slick. I kind of want to give the Sun Team its revenge. Because I like it. However laud or goofy it may be. Yeah, that is definitely a split F Scar. That did a lot of damage. Theoretically, the Scarm could still win, but... Okay, we got a... Sunstall team against Smurf Offense. Very interesting. So, Garchomp is the rocker. I want rocks myself. So, go to this, and then it's going to SD as I go to Cress, which is fine, because I have other methods of dealing with... Um, Actually, you know what? I might even take the plus two average and then switch to Fortress and uh, spin. There's max defense. Hey, I'll take that for sure. That was an absolute net win for me. That's this game, Lum. Oh, did I just. Did I burn? That's hilarious. Oh, it, it KO'd itself with Brave Bird. Wow, that is life orb. That's not life orb. That has to be like charcoal or something. That did so much damage. That's freaky. Right, I'm going to wish. Yes, for that exactly. This is. Oh, God, I love wish. I should make a video on. Actually, no, McMegan already made a video. No, he made a video on wish in advance. I should make a video on vision. A video on wish. Mixing it up like the Polish and Germans. Um. The, but yeah, Wish uh, does a million amazing things, obviously, but I really love the way it um, enables that sequence in particular. Alright, spin goes off, and now we stay in and HP. Oh, we don't HP. I could actually she could have just gone right to Volcarona, I guess. But yeah, I would just flamethrower. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, these uh, Sunstall teams tend to have a pretty good matchup against Hyper Offense, which is nice. Go to Ninetales, get the Sun, and now what's coming in Chomp, right? So, back to Chansey. What does Psy Team even mean? Shut up. Psychotic Team, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, that does nothing. And now I'll just go right to Cress, because Cress is insanely broken. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I might have to deal with the rocks, but I'm willing, because it Cress is... Uh, Cress, Victini, Volk, they'll still... Chansey, they'll get it done. What else is... Yeah, look how... Yeah, plus two out... Plus two outrage against a neutral target. That is... Bonkers. Scizor comes in. It might pursue me, but who really cares? Because I'm low on health. Um, I'll just go right to Volk. That's fine. It doesn't even KO. Cresselia is absolutely, absolutely insane. Uh, I'll just go for Bug Buzz because I want to hit Starmie on the switch. And yeah, and if Scizor stays in, it's just, it's not winning that. Uh, it's going to get flame-bodied, it gets walled because of this whole crowd as defense. Not as much defense as I remember, actually. Actually, maybe it does, and I, I'm just forgetting that it has a naturally, extremely low defense stat. Um, what, what's the plan against D-Knight? I think i got to just... Yeah, Sunny Flamethrower it. And, um... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then uh, Scarf Victini, but... It is, uh... Yeah, actually, I probably overestimated this thing, or underestimated this thing, but 
it's not gonna get a it's not gonna get a free shot through everything, so. Oh, then it's fine because I mean, let me just check the cow. I mean, this this should be considered like sacrilegious or something to calc Sunny V create, but Sun no multi scale. Again, I'm very sorry for doing this. Yeah, come on. Just wanted to make sure. You can never be too sure. What is that bolt strike accuracy, by the way? Wow, okay. Wonderful. And Teeny cleans up. All right, that is beautiful revenge. Great, 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 great. All right. Well, we just got to... Oh, I see, I see what... Yeah, you're saying it was a pussy team. And not a side team. Well, either way, shut the hell up. Um, yeah, let's go with this. I want to face the tricking, non-U-turning CV Azel friend again. There it is. All right, well, I will take a CV tar if that's what you want to give me. Oh, just you two. Okay, this is a different player then, I just assumed. But here we have that. The Scarf Swampert. Okay. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but. Oh, uh, sure. Fine. <laughs> Let's go to Gera. Let's DD and Life Orb and crush things. Alright, this is also Scarf Azel. It is a Scarf Azel. Why? Why, 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 why? Why is this a Scarf Azel and a Scarf Swampert? Please stay in and let me T-wave you. Oh my god. Should have ended on that good note. Well, like, at least I get to... Oh, it's a Lum Heatran, too, because why is why wouldn't it be? Fine. Go Gyarados. Oh, it, it, this team has Stealth Rock. I wouldn't know that uh, this player would appreciate the value of such a move, given the complete appreciation of value. Yeah, oh yeah, sure, fine, totally, it's, it's plus speed, why wouldn't it be? I can't, oh, it's not even Scarf, uh, body on. God, this is obnoxious. Fine, I'm gonna spec Draco and kill something, because Heatran is down, and then my, <sighs> uh, my, uh, there, there, uh, because there he tries down. I think I said mine. I don't know. I'm tired. But I'm choosing to believe nothing on the opposing team. Who knows how it's built? Yeah, Gyarados. Latias switch. Good one. Yeah, okay. Extra sand damage. Why not? Actually, you know what I hope? I hope that Jermaine59 chooses to switch Gyarados out and let something else get destroyed. So I just chunk the Gyarados with sand and rocks. That would make the Draco Meteor miss worth it, but that's not what happened. So, what is that? It'll have explosion, I'm sure, but Gengar. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes I really think about putting Crunch on this Scarf Luke, which normally I'm very opposed to, but yeah, Gengar is really obnoxious, so I should. I hope this thing is Scarf too. Well, it could be, because it just Shadow Ball and didn't show lefties. Got a defense drop, but sure, why not? It is. That's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it was 3 KOing anyway. I mean, more the fact that it's, um, that it is Scarfed. I mean, I'm all for double, triple Scarf stuff, but this is ridiculous. And um, right now, I'm very thankful that I have a Bullet Punch on this Pachamp, where usually... I uh, would think, oh, bulk up is better, but 
uh, in the wild terrain that is ladder, then I guess bullet point. Okay, fine. Well, now I gotta stay and slug it out with this perk. Alright, well, I really. Now it's in torrent range. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Yeah, I don't think I can win this one. I gotta hope it hits itself in confusion. And go to Latias. Good, that's a start. Thinking, do I feeling wish? You only wish to Jirachi? No, because if it breaks out of confusion. I mean, I kind of have to rely on it confusing itself anyway. Yeah, no! Okay, fine. You know what? We're gonna. Actually, Bullet Punch doesn't even KO. Doesn't matter. I, I think I'm. I'm, uh. kind of toast anyway. Good. Oh, it does KO. Okay. Uh, I guess it is Bulkless Swampert, so. Alright, so I hope the Aza, I hope the last Pokemon is, you know, Blissey. <laughs> and, uh, or a very slow T-Tar. Okay, so, oh, it's, it doesn't have to be that slow. Yeah. Alright, this thing's gonna blow up, or use a Psychic move, I'm fine with that too. Okay, go Machamp. I believe in you. Alright. Go, Machamp, go. Hopefully the last Pokemon is a very, very weak Scarf. Or, I hope it's Scarf Blissey. Infernape, okay. Depends on the set. Actually, D-Punch doesn't necessarily KO. I don't know. It's, all there's left to do is hope that the... It's banded. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whew, that was a lot of emotion. Thank goodness for Lumberry. Um, <laughs> uh, thank goodness for the Healing Wish, I suppose. It's got a Specs lot. Yes, Healing Wish always always helps. Thank goodness it wasn't a different Infernape set. Actually, you know what? That was definitely a Scarf Infernape. And, you know, the, this endless piling on of Choice Scarf wound up fighting. Ah, oh my god. That was so... Yeah. The burn, the lum, the ugh, everything. All right, it's we can finish it up. The last one was like an hour forty, so we can go for another one of those. I think. I like this team; it's fun. So, if I face an Azel lead with this scar, I'm. Yep, I I'm not getting tricked. Another choice band. I mean, I know it's because it was two different names last time, so. Yeah, okay, now, now, now it does that. Sure, fine. Thing is, that Icy Wind is even good because now I give it a slow U turn. So I'm just. Oh my god. I should have just Icy Wind it. I should have. Okay, well, if it wants to sacrifice itself, I'm fine with that. Not getting rocks is really going to hurt me against Gyarados, but you know, it's, I've got a Jirachi set that's good against Gyarados team, so. I, I should... Okay, well. Right to Gengar. Wide Lens Focus Blast. Go get him. That's a good... Yes! Wonderful. Okay. Shaman! Oh, wow. I've seen Shaman in a while. Well, it's not really scary. It messes... Like, both to Gengar in general. Oh, I guess it has Life Orb Psychic, so it is. Never mind. That's obnoxious. <laughs> Alright, well. Use my speedy Jirachi. And, uh. Alright, good. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This. Offensive teams that play around uh, Iron Heading Jirachi with Gara stuff and it just gets destroyed. And it has Shukaberry if it. Uh, Lives with Wacken and hits me with plus one EQ. Don't have a ground move. I hope it just EQs. Great. I'm gonna Icy Wind, even if it's mixed. Well, if it's mixed, I'm dying either way. But if... Okay, good. Now that T-Tar comes in. I get... I get to miss! Great. Alright, well, let's get... Definitely gonna DD. 
So I'm going to taunt. Good. <laughs> Icy wind miss. I was like, oh, it lets me, you know, stealth rock for free. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's life orb DD taunt. That's cool. Um, yeah, we just go to this, and this should be a fairly simple cleanup. Then live the. Oh, I guess I don't live that if that happens. Ha uh ha. -huh. But, yeah, we'll just, uh. We'll just outrage so Flygon doesn't pivot in. And I don't really care if uh, Shaman switches out, because I just want to make sure that uh, Scarf Latias cleans up. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to T-Tar first. And Crunch. Just hopefully that, yeah, that happens. I hope it stays in and... Yeah, this just gives the opponent more opportunity to mess up, so I can potentially not have to... Draco Meteor. Like, if it stays in and hits up in Fusion, and... Yeah, because I, I don't DD on the Switch, because that doesn't do anything unless I want to DD twice. I guess I could have, like, tried to DD... No, I have to DD three times to outrun Flygon. It's jolly, but yeah. All right, Latias. Good. Wonderful. Cool, cool. I do enjoy this team. All right, let's get uh, let's finish things off with advance. Hopefully, nothing too wacky happens. Or if we're not getting games, then we'll just go back to Gen 5 and finish it off. Or if nothing's doing on the Gen 5 ladder, then we'll go to Gen 6 and finish things off quickly. Great. Oh, an actual team. Cool. All right, let's see. No hazard. Well, I guess Latios feasibly. Metacham is a pain. Thunderous is strong. Superior is really strong. We'll lead off with Superior. All right. Now we go to Klefki on the fake out. Get some helmet and threaten it with two wave and get some spikes. And this Klefki is so bulky that I think it even lives a high jump kick from full health, so. You know, this thing is not risking... Yeah, so that happens. Now we go to this, we threaten HP Ice, and start slamming stuff. Groovy. Metagross enjoys that. Oh, well, sorry. Alright. That's fine. I just want to blast this thing down for Manaphy's sake. Just going to T-Wave it. Just cause as much havoc as possible. I'm just gonna beat it down before scaring it out with Mega Metagross. Yeah, stay in, why don't- oh, it's Mono Clef, too. Well, fortunately I have Healing Fish. Why are you staying in? What is with you? Well, I, I want to hammer on the Ferrothorn, but okay, I won't then. <laughs> sure. Do I need a uh, for anything else besides just chip on Metacham? No, I don't think so. So now we go to Serp and we leave Storm and have fun. Nope, I'm gonna HP fire that. Wonderful. Great, alright. 
Let's go for one more. Let's do Gen 3. Just because I like that Jirachi lead so much. Actually, no, we'll, we'll go with a different team. We'll go with something else that I use. Is this what I used in SPL? You know, that silly, silly offense team? That always reminds me of how much offense sucks. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, we'll go for it. Or if not, then we'll finish things off. Ooh, I know I'm falling into the trap, but yeah. Okay, alright, a standard rain team. That's not a pleasant matchup at all, especially because it's got Mammoth Swine for Dragonite. So let's see how we can maneuver this. I want to lead off with Freeloom because Politoed is a very free lead, and I want to start harassing things with Bullet Seed and Superpower. Bullet Seed is extremely free. Because Latios getting chipped, that's good. And pursuit it with uh, Scizor, perhaps. Breloom just gotta, you gotta be aggressive with Breloom in general. And it's gotta be fast, because if you... Not having the... Not letting Breloom get the opportunities it needs to harass this kinds of team, then... That's, uh... You miss out on potential, so I think leading with it is the best. Because it actually leads off well against pretty much everything, besides Latios. And I have Pursuit Scizor for that, to, or at least to you know, make it think about that matchup. Yeah, because it has Sash for pretty much everything. Tentacruel's not leading off, ever. And even then, you know, what's it going to do other than pray for a Skull Burn and potentially get deleted? So there's no Thunderous Therian, and there really should be. I think, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of, um, kind of ridiculous on, well, not even ridiculous, but I'm just very rigid. I think all range should be Politoed, Ferrothorn, Tentacruel, Latios, Thunderous Therian. Politoed, always, of course. Ferrothorn, you gotta have it. You gotta have your hazards, your, uh, defensive. Just because as soon as you take Ferrothorn out, you start getting destroyed by, like, half the tier. Not just in terms of like, oh, Ferrothorn doesn't hard counter it, just because Ferrothorn can take hits from pretty much everything. Tentacruel, okay, Tentacruel can be Starmie, I guess, but Rain already has the issue of being insanely frail and cleaned up by things like Scarf Latios, so no, I think Tentacruel's bulk is very important, especially because it's very fast, and it is effectively an offensive Pokemon in its own right. It's very difficult, excuse me, to switch into, and you can customize its moveset to be really obnoxious to make it even more of a quote-unquote offensive Pokemon. And then you, um, then Latios you need because it's the most broken thing in the tier. And it's just too good not to have. You know, it's especially nasty on rain. Uh, with hazards, boosted surfs, just uh, luring in T-Tar to help win the weather war. I guess this could have Icicle Spear, but you can't be afraid of that. Also, it shouldn't, unless it's Scarf. I guess if it is Scarf Mammo, then we just, you know, call it. Because uh, then that, this is way too difficult to match up to... I mean, I'm, I'm oversimplifying it a little bit, but um, Scarf, Icicle, Spear, Mammoth Swine is actually kind of cool for things like Zam, but it's um, generally, you know, I, I can see it on Rain. It's actually a pretty cool choice, I think. All right, we Bullet Seed. Nice three hits, and now we try to trap it with Scizor. Excellent. That's perfect. That is exactly how that should go. Well, no, it, sh it should be... Uh, it's not even Colberberry. Great. Yeah, it should be, you know, um, Draco missing twice, but hey. Tentacruel... God, what an obnoxious, obnoxious Pokemon. Alright, Sack Scizor to get a Bullet Punch off that will not be as... Oh, no. That was a good move. Fortuitously, here is... Well, no, we, let's think about it. Well, no, we need it, got because... Hmm. We need hazards to put pressure on Polytoad. But no, we do need a gun. But then if Ferrothorn comes in, 
then um, well then Breloom comes back in and starts causing havoc. And I lo I like having the sacrifice. I don't need as much damage on Tentacruel. So I will take this absolutely. Tentacruel has been chipped a little, that's that's fine. Yeah, then uh, then you on that fifth slot on rain, you need uh, Thunder Staring because Thunder Staring is also broken. And then the fifth the sixth slot is where you get to have your fun. Well, you also get to have fun in your movesets, of course, but Alright, so Pharaoh? Well, no, 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 I take it back. I, I want Tarag, I want rocks. I, I don't want to be at a hazard's disadvantage. I hope Tentacle comes in and gets EQ. That would make me very happy. But, uh, Terrakion also forces damage on, um, Politoed, which is the best switch in. That's really nice. You know, if I, if I had close combat, I should really put close combat on this thing. Uh, <laughs> I like EQ for Tentacle, because Stone Edging Tentacle is the worst feeling in the world. But... Yeah, uh, CC would actually be the move here. But, yeah, just as I say that, yeah, give me that. Absolutely. I will take that. I'm going to rocks just to, I mean, feasibly, I don't want to give Tentacle too much health back, but that is amazing. Now, uh, now Politoed is really, or Politoed, now Breloom is really good. Yeah, Scarf Man was a cool poke. Um... But generally, no, actually, the reason you wouldn't want Scarf Mammo on Rain is because the whole point of Mammo on Rain is to pressure Sand Teams. And Scarf Mammo is... I mean, actually, it would be fine if you had, like, a Grass Knot Thunderous or a U-Turn Thunderous or something that would... I mean, okay, I'll take it. Uh, if you had a... something like that to put more pressure on uh, on the Sand Team. But if, you know... I, and Keldeo can do it, too. HP Grass Keldeo is stupid against Sand. All right, so now I'll sacrifice this. Win the speed tie, actually, so that's nice. And now I will go to Starmie and get rid of the T-Spikes. Maintain the Sashes on Chomp and Loom, as well as the Multiscale on Dragonite. Because either Ferrothorn comes in, or, um, or Starmie gets KO'd, but not both. I can even potentially get a nice cheeky... Uh, Scizor switch if Ferrothorn comes in. Yeah, I can. And, um, because I'll get one more spin off. Yeah, I want to get a big, big superpower off. Oh, a T Waves, okay. Is it gonna rocks? Yeah, a superpower. Yes, 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 yes. That's perfect. Uh, Mammoth, well, mm, that might not have been it. This Mammoth Swine, oh, now Mammoth Swine's Ice Shard is actually terrifying. That was so stupid of me. I, it might actually just clean me up with Ice Shard. That's, the only thing I can do is go to Breloom and hope that it's going to, hope it uh, gets scared out because I'm Jolly Breloom or something. That was so, oh my god, I, that was terrible. That was so terrible. I needed Breloom in on it. Well, actually no, even Breloom doesn't doesn't do well because um, because it'll lose its sash to actually KO Ferrothorn, and then it's the same problem. God, oh, this is, this is why this kind of team is really not good against Ray. Well, um, I don't even know if they have a better option. Okay, well, Mock Punch won't KO, so I have to hope to live Ice Shard and Bullet Seed. It's not because Icicle Crash is not being used. And failing that, then, you know, go to Starmie, hope to live Shard, which, you know, won't happen. I, I guess if it's not, um... If it's not, um... Icicle, if it's not Icicle Play, it's like Choppleberry or something. Or, um, yeah. <sighs> or that other item I'm forgetting. Um, yeah, I guess Icicle Crash is the move, which would make Mach Punch more the move because it makes me uh, get a chance to crit. But no, I'm, I'm going to hope for... Okay, hey, I will take that. For sure. Oh, this incidentally, this is why Scarf Real is pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's the same, the same deal. I... See, so, does anything change here? Do I just... 
Does he want to mock if I school? Oh yeah, I guess if you think it's choice man or something. Oh my god. I don't know how that worked out, but it did somehow. Yeah, yeah. So, so that line of thinking that was going through actually worked. Perfect. All right, we're, we're going to call it there. That was a nice finish. Um, God, weatherless under rain is so bad. It, I, the rain didn't even pop up. It's just the um, Pokemon that are used on rain, which is so insufferable to deal with. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.